What's going on YouTube? It's Kyle again with DTOM and Knives and Gear and today we have got ready the finally the full review of the Protec SNG uh very cool knife. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back everybody. Man, this is super cool. Uh this knife I've actually picked up, uh, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll notice that I actually have picked up like three Protex in the last little while. Uh, I've become a very big fan of Protec. Um, this is one of those things where on in my collection, I haven't had a whole lot of autos. I've had autos in the past, uh, but everybody was talking about how awesome the side opening autos are at Protec. And I was like, you know, a lot of people that I respect in this industry and uh, on YouTube uh, keeps talking about how great they are. So I really wanted to try one out and I ended up purchase, purchasing the uh, Protec Magic Whiskers. Absolutely fell in love with that knife. It's a smaller knife, but I love that thing. Uh, so I was also on the hunt for a Strider knife, never held, held, handled one of those, and noticed that Strider and Protec collaborated to make this guy. This thing is about the same size, pretty much the same size, except for the blade thickness of a real Strider SNG. So I was like, sold. I got to get that in hand. Um, the Ergos were kind of uh, interesting to me as far as the way the handle shape was. I really wanted to try it out. So I ended up buying this thing, and wow, I was right about the Ergos. <laughs> this thing is super cool. Uh, but this was the co collaboration between the two companies, two great American companies. This knife is uh, made in the USA. And it is quite awesome, in my opinion. Now, these are all just my opinions. I have different uh, things that I like about knives versus other people. So just take that with a grain of salt. You know, what I like might not be what you like. Uh, but I am a huge fan. Um, a lot of the, a lot of things about this knife might not appeal to everyone, though. Um, but it does to me. So what first, what do we got? We've got, uh, in typical Protec fashion, we have 775 aluminum. Uh, on the scales, so, and that is hard coat anodized. So, you know, uh, as far as aluminum scales and how they wear over time, uh, these things, uh, you know, they, they hold up well, uh, but they will show wear probably more so than some other, um, I guess, materials, you know, versus like micarta and, and titanium and whatnot. But uh, they really do, is, in my experience, I've had some uh, excuse me, aluminum uh, handled knives before. And, you know, they do show wear, but it kind of gives it character. So I really don't mind about it. Now, I carry this quite a bit and use this quite a bit over the last few weeks that I've had it. And uh, the thing still looks brand new. Uh, I only do keep my primary knife in my uh, right front right pocket as well as an edc flashlight which is plastic coated so it doesn't scratch anything so but uh you know it doesn't sit very um very deep in the pocket and we'll go over that in a little bit so it did have a chance to i mean, threw it on my table on my desk while i was at work and you know doing a bunch of stuff I did a lot of cutting with this and so it does very well but the 154 cm steel is a a fine edc steel it, it really is uh it takes a good edge and so uh i'm okay with it and uh like i said in the unboxing of this knife would i like to see it in 20 cv man yes i would it would make uh it would make it a lot more appealing to a lot of people i think if it was in 20 cv however like i said i think 154 cm gets a a little bad rap, you know, it's definitely not a premium steel, but it is a high-end steel, maybe a mid to high-end steel, um, as far as its, um, uh, composition. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm okay with it. It does take a great edge. I've sharpened 154CM in the past, and it does, woo, man, does it take a sharp edge. Uh, this one will end up getting my edge on it. It is definitely sharp. It's not like hair shaving sharp. Uh, out of the box, but it definitely is sharp enough to do what I needed to do when I needed to do it. So definitely, uh, definitely good enough for that. It does have a titanium pocket clip that is actual Strider pocket clip. So this is directly from Strider's factory. And, uh, I think that's super cool. Kind of a stone wash finish there. The blade itself has a stone wash on the, uh, grind of the blade with a satin. And then, of course, you have the Strider logo on this side. And then this side, you have Protec USA 154CM. Uh, so, super cool. Man, I just really, really like this knife. 
Ergos. We'll talk about the Ergos. Holy crap. I really, really enjoy these kind of Ergos. And like I said, I know it's not for everybody uh, because it is particular. I mean, a lot of people don't like... You know, some people like a forward twirl, and then you know, but they then again, some people don't because it takes away from the blade, uh, the length of the cutting edge. Uh, it's not something that really is a big deal to me uh, because I'd rather have these ergos. But as you can see, you have the handle and a big finger troll, a very generous finger troll, and a very generous sharpening troll. So that makes for a shorter cutting length. Uh, this thing overall is about eight and a quarter inches, and you have a three and a half inch blade, but it cuts it down to about. Uh, 2.875 on the total cutting edge, which I know some people aren't going to like. It really doesn't bother me. Uh, I will say that processing cardboard with this thing was was really uh, was really easy, except for one the, one of the problems that if you're cutting cardboard and you get into that choil, it'll hang up on you. So um, definitely something to consider. Uh, and and that's one thing I get about people that say they don't like that. Um, so I understand, but once I did that once, I just kind of moved my blade back and it did go through that cardboard, no problem. It also did very well for all the other uh, tasks that I do on a daily basis, you know, breaking down the boxes, zip ties, packages, all that good stuff. It did amazingly. I even cut a little bit of rope with this thing. So it did function very, very well. Going back to these ergos, I like the fact that I can come back here and if I need to just kind of chop something, I can. I really, really like that. You know, and then right here at the saber grip, I'm super locked in. This swell in the back, a lot of people, you know, a lot of junk in the trunk, they say. That, to me, feels excellent. It feels the hand enough to where I get a good grip, but it's not like, you know, like I'm out here or anything. If it was any skinnier, sometimes with skinnier knives... Uh, you know, I just feel like I've, you know, Andre the Giant shaking the hand of Willow from the movie Willow. You know what I'm saying? It just, that's what, what I feel like. Uh, so I think this particular uh, design was absolutely made for me. The fact that I can choke up with that finger troll and just get absolute control. Man, is it sweet. Also, in my unboxing of this guy, I was a little bit nervous about doing just what I'm doing here. Actually uh, disengaging the lock and bringing it back down. I had said that the Protec Magic Whiskers was very intuitive and super easy to close being an automatic, uh, which is one of the things that I did not like about automatics or assisted opening knives in the past. But this one is super uh, easy. The spring tension on these guys is amazing. They tweak it very well. They tweak it to where it fires hard, but the actual spring tension to get it back down is like nothing. Uh, it's very, very nice. Uh, it's, you know, I, I handled uh, a Microtech SOCOM Elite, and that thing fired hard. Uh, it was probably the most f hard firing knife I've ever had as far as a side opener or had to experience. Uh, but it was a chore to, you know, get that spring, that, that, uh, uh, that blade back down on that spring tension. This one is not like that. I really, really love the fact that the spring tension is not hard enough to where you can't, you know, easily get this thing down. Now, most of the time on this push button, you know, your finger's back here. So you got to press this, bring it down with your finger and then kind of roll it back down. So it's, it's not exactly easy. Uh, and I know that's why a lot of people don't like autos. And of course, a lot of people can't carry autos in their communist state that they live in. <laughs> uh, a lot of places do not allow things like this. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a fear based legislation that, uh, frankly makes no sense. And I suggest moving if you live in one of those states. Anyways, <laughs> so, uh, so if you can get these, oh man, if ProTech is absolutely the way to go when it comes to side opening autos, super, super high quality. And I'm so happy that I have this. Well, let's just kind of see, like I said, eight and a quarter inches. Let's see what it compares to with some of the staples here. We've got the Spyderco PM2. And as you can see, it's pretty good as far as the size comparison, about the same size knife. Of course, you got the fat butt here. Uh, but you know, PM2 is also an ergonomic thing, uh, ergonomic win for me as far as, you know, that finger choil. Um, so two knives that I really love to carry. Holy moly, hitting the camera. Uh, the other ergonomic wonderland that I call the Spyderco Shaman. As you can see, they are pretty close in size as well. And then I ended up, because I got this knife, uh, I ended up buying a real Strider, uh, but I ended up getting the Strider, uh, SMF which is the bigger brother 
So as you can see, the Strider SMF is just a tad bit longer than the SNG. Uh, so that is your difference there. Um, now that I know that the Strider ergonomics work for me and I love this knife so much, review to come, uh, I will more than likely get a Strider SNG uh, and uh, because I like that size as well. But holy crap, this is, uh, this is gonna be reviewed shortly. Stay tuned for that. Really, really nice knife. So uh, now, your, uh, since it's not manual, you get your blade stops here, just like the regular uh, SNG, uh, which, you know, gives it that really cool sound when it comes out and stops. <laughs> That's really, really nice. You get your oversized hardware and, uh, and pivot. It just is a really, really sleek looking, I think, cool design. You do have jimping. Uh, the jimping is not exactly sharp but not exactly rounded off either i think it's a little bit too aggressive for most people the jimping up here is actually not that bad even though usually i like tighter jimping um it's really not that bad um but you can feel it um this right here doesn't really bother me a lot uh i can just i can tell that it might bother uh some people of course it has jimping back here and of course the reverse grip on this guy and that jimping back there does heat in it a little bit i really enjoy that uh the pocket clip is like I said from Strider it does not deep carry so a lot of guys just going to turn off right off the bat and I get it uh, some people don't want a big part of their knife sticking out of their pocket here where I live everybody carries a knife and so a knife being stuck out of your pocket is really not noticed at all so but I, I get it so the PT which is a smaller version of this knife I think does come with a deep carry pocket clip so if this is something that you want to try the uh, the PT is probably which the one you would probably want. It does have a lanyard hole, um, and I don't know if I can show this. This is not as bad. Uh, so the lanyard hole is right there at the very end for people who like the lanyard. And on the Strider, or the Protex Strider, the blade does not come into it. I know if you've heard about Strider knives, the blade actually goes into the lanyard hole a little bit, which you can see right here. With that blade kind of you see how the blade kind of goes into lanyard hole not a problem with this guy uh the blade does not touch it so that is not a problem if you were worried about that uh so you know as far as deep carry no but it carries okay i mean you know i'm not going to say this is the best thing ever for carry because it's not but it is a, the power clip does well for keeping it in your pocket you don't have to worry about this uh coming out of your pocket it's just one of those uh, pocket clips that, you know, it's it's fine. It's just not the best in the world. Um, I would have kind of liked it if they'd have moved it up a little bit, uh, even though I don't mind a bunch of um, knives sticking out of my pocket. I just think it would have been just a little bit better. But, hey, you know what? Since it's moved over this way, it's kind of off to the side of your pocket where you can get in and out. There's nothing here to grab your hand. So you're able, you're definitely able, even with a knife for the size, to uh, get other stuff in your pocket and uh and it not be a, a bothersome this size of a knife is in my opinion a good edc size uh i have bigger hands and so i tend to carry larger knives this is about right for me for edc of course i also carry a lot larger but so don't, you can't really take my <laughs> my uh philosophy of use for that because i am a little bit different let's see how much this thing weighs uh this is definitely not going to weigh uh, close to what the real SNG is like, but the SNG from Mick Strider, they come in all different configurations, so they do vary. The Protec version weighs about 4.9 ounces. So, you know, if people who are counting their ounces, uh, they may not like that, but I think it's a perfectly uh, reasonable weight for this knife. It's super fun to carry and to, uh, you know, deploy. <laughs> I do play with it. Uh, my wife gets on to me because, I mean, hell, I mean, when I've got this in my pocket, I'm just standing around. I am deploying it and closing it, deploying it and closing it. Uh, the knife stays on center. It's just a very well-made knife, and I'm really glad that the collaboration was there for them to do this. This gives people the opportunity to try out the Strider ergonomics for a lot less uh, money because Striders are pretty hard to find and they're expensive. This thing was about 200 bucks, so I think really good price uh, for a Strider design. However, um, you know, some people were like, I don't like aluminum handles. You're paying that much for aluminum handles. I don't like 154CM. That's valid points. I get it. 
Uh, I do, however, think this knife is worth it because it is so well made and you, it's made in the United States, which tickles my fancy. So um, I know a lot of people will be like, ah, I just don't know. I, I, if you want that design, uh, I, I really highly recommend it. It is such a great knife, especially if you live in a freedom state where you are allowed to have this. So uh, really, really cool. Now, I will say this thing has just the tad most little bit of blade play since I've had it and I have not adjusted it. So I am assuming that I could get that out uh, with um, with the adjusting the pivot just a little bit. So just letting you know, I do like the knife. It is very, very well built, but over the, I mean, I'm talking, I've probably opened and closed this thing a thousand times since I've had it because it's so much fun. But over that time, when I first got it, it was rock, rock solid. So I believe that the pivot needs to be adjusted and then that will go away. And so, but I wanted to kind of not really touch it during my, uh, you know, my review process, but that is something to keep in mind. I'm not sure about the Loctite that they use on this. I do know at least I... I've seen a couple of reviews where Protec doesn't like you to take her, take their knives apart. Uh, I'm not sure if that is still the case. Um, so, you know, definitely check that out. If, But I'm not taking it apart, I don't think, because I don't think it's dirty at all. It just needs to be tightened up a little bit. I will let you guys know if, um, well, you know what? Let's do it while we're here. I'll let you know about the issue. Let's see if we can fix the issue. Boom. Let's see. That kind of looks like a T8. Is it a T8? Oh no, I'm lugging that. It looks like more of a T10. Let's see if we can get this. Oh yeah. So let's see if we can fix the problem right here. Yeah, definitely was able to turn this and I'm not gonna torque on it. Fires out hard. And the blade play's gone. So that was it. It did the pivot looks like it just backed out a little bit. Not sure if there's Loctite in there, but a little bit of Loctite will fix that problem. So super cool. Yep, that was exactly it. It did come out just a little bit in the uh up and down motion that I had put this thing through since I've had it. So so that's good. That's what I figured was gonna happen. Uh so kind of glad I had these in front of me so I could show you guys that that was definitely it. So guys, this is my full review of the Protec Strider collaboration, the SNG. Uh, this is definitely a knife that, if you're thinking about, I would say go ahead and pull the trigger. It's a super fun knife. Protec is a great company. Str uh, the Mix Strider design, I think, is just awesome. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people don't, and that's fine. But ergonomically, the way this knife is designed really just molds to my hand better than anything else that I've had. Uh, even though it looks weird, I mean, it really does. When I first saw these designs, I was like, what the, that's not going to be, that's not, that looks weird, but I'm telling you, you get it in hand, you're going to feel differently, especially if you get big meat hooks like mine. So if you have any questions about it, holler at me. I might be able to answer them. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more, hit the notification bell. Uh, I do videos like this all the time. I got a lot more coming. I got a lot of knives that a bunch of viewers have sent me, and I so appreciate that. I appreciate all of you who have supported my channel over the short period of time that I have been there. This community has been great, and I really, really love you all. Stay safe in this crazy world that we're living in, and we will see you in the next one.